What is up, my Butter Biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Britney Spears. I'm sure you guys have already heard that she is getting a divorce from her husband, Sam. However, more and more details keep on coming out about this. I do want to say just right from the jump, I'm just like, hmm, I did. Okay, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I said it before. I said it on live. I was like, I don't know. For some reason, I kind of feel like he's an opportunist. You know what I mean? Only because maybe this sounds a little hypocritical of me because I am a content creator here on social media. But I've always said, like, he tried to start his career as, like, an IG model. I don't know what it is. And I'm so sorry to all the IG models out there. I really don't. But what I'm talking about men okay ig model men i don't know why for some reason i just don't trust him i really don't like i've always been like oh sam is kind of cute but then i'm just like i don't really trust him do you know what i mean but then also we don't know what happened behind closed doors because we do have to keep it real with ourselves here and say like as much as i love britney spears that's my girl you know she's went through a lot and i really do think that has taken a toll on her mental health and we can tell by her recent actions that she is just kind of out there as well as just everything that she posts on social media i do think a lot of people like normalize it obviously because she was in a conservatorship for so long so she's like breaking free but then i'm like some of the things that she posts i'm like what like i'm gonna be reading her statement within today's video and i'm like she's like dancing around like wiping the sweat off her body it's just very bizarre do you know what i mean but also at the same time too y'all what she has been through all the medication that they put her on like medicine that she didn't even need do you know what i mean it probably really messed with her so i just feel like it's like you know it's really sad to see this but also at the same time too i don't know she kind of seems like she's doing okay you know she's like going out with her friends and just living her life. And then, y'all, there was, like, a uh, picture of her. I don't know if you guys had seen it, but she was, like, coming out of a store, and she has, like, a buzz ball. I was like, oh, okay, look at her drinking her little buzz ball. I'm like, all right, girl, go ahead and have some fun. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be talking about within today's video. I do have new makeup reviews coming soon. I'm currently in the middle of uh, filming a review on this makeup by Mario Concealer, and then tomorrow I'm going to be filming a review of the brand new Fenty Ease Drop Stick Foundation. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for those if you guys are interested in makeup videos that will be coming very soon. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys click down blah, 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 click down below. Head over to my second channel. That's my travel channel with my brother. And make sure you guys go show some love over there. And let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I'm going to be reading a TMZ article within today's video for a little bit more details. As you guys know, I just always feel like for some reason, I've said this so many times before, I feel like TMZ has like the inside scoop. I do see a lot of other pages that will have to like change, you know, this statement or that statement or like update this or you know what I mean? And I feel like TMZ is really accurate with their stuff. I'm like, me and my homegirls will always say, well, if it's on TMZ, it's true. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I'm sure they have gotten some things wrong before, but I feel like for the most part, they're pretty good as to where there's some other magazines out there that you're just like, uh, what? Like, it's just completely out there. Do you know what I mean? I want to go ahead and read her statement. If you guys are interested in seeing her video that she had posted with this statement, you guys can head over to her Instagram. It is still there, but this is what it says right here. As everyone knows, Hassam and I are no longer together. Six years is a long time to be with someone, so I'm a little shocked, but I'm not here to explain why because it's honestly nobody's business. But I couldn't take the pain anymore, honestly. In some sort of telepathic way, I have been receiving so many messages that melt my heart from friends, and I thank you. I've been playing it strong for way too long, and my Instagram may seem perfect, but it's far from reality, and I think we all know that. I would love to show my emotions and tears on how I really feel, but for some reason, I've always had to hide my weaknesses. If I wasn't my dad's strong soldier, I would be sent away to places to get fixed by doctors, but that's when I needed family the most. You're supposed to be loved unconditionally, not under conditions. So I will be as strong as I can to do my best, and I'm actually doing pretty damn good. Anyways, have a good day, and don't forget to smile. So that is her little statement on it. A lot of people are really going in on Sam right now because there are rumors, and I do want to say they are rumors because obviously we don't really know what is true and what is not, and obviously a lot of people do want to get a lot of clicks and views during this time but there are rumors coming out that he's saying that if he if she doesn't change the prenup then he is going to come out and then say some things what those things are obviously we don't know but he is kind of low-key threatening her from what the source is saying once again take it with a grain of salt because we don't know if they are verified i do want to read his statement but give me just a second because i lost where it's at y'all i have so many screenshots and i'm just like oh my gosh going through my little screenshot album i'm like Oh, I need to get this organized. I need to start deleting some stuff because this is just way too much. So he did actually post this um, last Thursday on his Instagram. This is what he said right here. After six years of love and commitment to each other, my wife and I have decided to end our journey together. We will hold on to the love and respect we have for each other and I wish her the best always. Shit happens. Asking for privacy seems ridiculous. So we'll, I will just ask for everyone, including media, to be kind and thoughtful. Which is so true because you guys already know that I always say I'm like every single couple that's going through something, they always ask for privacy. And I'm like, it's really difficult because obviously everybody is 
really curious to know what's going on, especially when you look up to this person, especially when they are in the spotlight. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, everyone's going to want to know the details as to what is going on. So I'm going to go ahead and read the article. There is so many different things coming out right now. I don't know if you guys had also said, I'm not going to go ahead and, or if you guys have also seen, uh, Pop Crave actually came out and then said there is a girl now who is having accusations against him. I'm like, there's just so many things going on right now. So I want to go ahead and read what the actual facts are. So his statement as well as Britney's statement and then from TMZ, because like I had said before, this whole prenup thing, I'm like, what? And then there's also some rumors saying that she's actually going to be willing to cut him a check because there are some rumors supposedly that she cheated on him. But then there's also rumors that he cheated on her. So it's just like, oh my gosh, this is just a really, really messy situation. But let's go ahead and read the statement right here. Well, not statement, the article from TMZ. This is what it says. Britney Spears and her husband, Sam Asghari, have separated after a nuclear argument that involves allegations of cheating, TMZ has learned. Sources with direct knowledge tell at TMZ about a week ago, Sam confronted Britney over rumors she stepped out on him. We do not know if the rumor has any basis in fact, but we're told Sam believed it and he and the two had a huge fight. Our sources say Sam moved out of their house and is now living in a place of his own. As one source put it, it's only a matter of time before Sam files for divorce. This is why supposedly there's this rumor coming out there that she is going to cut a check, I guess, because apparently within their prenup that he is not allowed to get anything. Like he has absolutely no entitlement over the property, over any type of money, but supposedly she is considering cutting him a check. That's what the rumors are. Obviously, we'll see. TMZ broke the story. There's been deep trouble with the couple's union for months. Sam wasn't sleeping at the house much, and we're told Britney has gotten physical with him in blowout fights that include frequent screaming matches. There was also one rumor online too that she supposedly just like started attacking him while he was sleeping so i was like what once again these are all rumors we do not know people just really put a lot of stuff out there so it's like if you scroll through twitter or if you look at like the trending tag britney spears there's just so many different stories and i'm like what's true you know what i mean Anyways, as we reported, Britney has a prenup which protects her assets, but one insider tells TMZ the likely end to the marriage will be a check from Britney to Sam that will settle things, at least financially. Um, if you've been following Britney, uh, Britney's journey post-conservatorship, the writing's been on the wall. At times, Britney's behavior has been erratic, and we're told Sam was over it. Sam has publicly defended Britney from critics, but privately we're told he was frustrated at, and at wit's end. Sam and Britney started dating back in 2016 when he got a gig in one of her music videos since then they've been practically inseparable. Amid the hashtag free Britney mov movement, Sam often expressed support for Brit's fans. She shared plans of marrying him and starting a family. He even posed uh, in a free Britney t-shirt, which he posted on his Instagram. Britney was ecstatic and, uh, when Sam popped the question in September 2021, sharing pics and a video of her ring and happiness with her fans on social media. Eventually, Sam and Britney said their I do's and tied the knot in a uh, small private ceremony at their Thousand Oaks home. Not without drama, courtesy of one of her exes still just in case you guys didn't see supposedly like one of her exes was gonna like try to go there i was like what's going on still the ceremony it's still the ceremony itself seemed to go off without a hitch and they appeared happy while divorce docs haven't been filed yet we're told that should happen sooner rather than later neither of them have commented on the split but that's what i did read earlier because they did comment on it that was uh this was actually posted before they made their comments i do want to ask you guys this question obviously he's seeking some type of financial gain and we do know even with tmz state Saying right here saying right here that she's actually thinking about cutting a check what do you guys feel about that because i've often always wondered like okay I feel like if they got a divorce and he signed the prenup, right? And then he just, you know, say, for example, he's the one that cheated. Then you better not be asking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You cheated. But let's just say if these rumors are true and she did cheat on him, do you guys feel that he should be entitled to something? How would you handle this situation? Because I have to be quite honest with you guys. I feel like I'm just a little bit too prideful to try to get anything. But if I got cheated on, if I got cheated on, I feel like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna get you some way. You know what I mean? And I feel like I might as well get some money out of it. Like, do you guys remember that one time that like Mariah Carey like sued her boyfriend because supposedly he was like married to, or engaged to her, but then they like broke it off. She ended up like, I don't know if she was like suing him or like what the whole case was, but she ended up getting money for him for basically wasting her time and he paid it out. But I think he was like a billionaire. So he probably gave her a couple million dollars. I think that's what it was. So I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, the fact that like, you know what I mean? You're invested in this relationship. And say for example, with him, if the rumors are true, he obviously signed the prenup out of love, but then what if she was the 
the one who stepped out on him and what if those are true i'm just kind of like oh snap like maybe he should get a little bit of money you know what i'm saying if it is true but if it is not true and he is still trying to get some money then i think that's really shady and i think that that's very messed up of him but obviously we're going to wait and see because i do think it will be very telling if britney spears just does cut a check but then also at the same time too we do have to think about like maybe she just doesn't want any drama and maybe she's like oh my gosh what's a million dollars here you go you know what i mean i'm really curious to see where things go and how this unfolds. I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, as a Britney fan, I love her to death. I just hope that she has somebody close to her looking out for her because it just seems like in her recent post, she's just kind of out there. And then she went out with her friends and then they're like, you know, drinking and stuff. And I'm like, good for her, go do your thing, girl. But I just hope that she's not being, you know, like, I don't know. I just hope that she's not being reckless. And I know that she's obviously been through so much in her life. And I hope that this is not like the tip of the iceberg to where, or like the straw that broke the camel's back, however the sayings go, that just pushes her over the edge. You know what I mean? I really hope that she's staying healthy throughout it all and hopefully she has a good support team around her to like really help her out during this time so that's just my little two cents on it make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on it and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout